In this first unit, we're going to look at a quick introduction to classroom management in general. Before we start, I want to read you a quote. If a doctor, lawyer or dentist had 40 people in his office at one time, all of whom had different needs and some who didn't want to be there and were causing trouble, and the doctor, lawyer or dentist without assistance had to treat all with professional excellence for nine months, then he might have some conception of the classroom teacher's job. I love this quote, as it gives us such good insight into the multiple needs and demands that teachers face in the classroom. Often teachers' teaching ability is judged, but actually it is how the teacher manages and attends to her class that makes her an effective teacher. Let's look at what a teacher as the manager of her classroom is responsible for. Now there are three main aims of classroom management. Now remember, classroom management refers to the wide variety of skills and techniques that teachers use to keep learners organized and orderly, focused and attentive, and lastly, on task and academically productive during class. So what actually is being managed in the classroom? Teachers need to manage the learner's behavior. She needs to manage how they interact with one another in the class. They need to manage how learners move around the classroom and how much time learners spend on activities. These four elements are critical to classroom management and each teacher needs to develop a classroom management strategy on how they plan to attend to all these different elements in their classroom. When a teacher begins each term, week, day, lesson, her goal should always be to keep learners organized, focused and on task. And this is a mammoth task. But what is important is that classroom management can be broken down into three key areas to allow teachers to control the controllables. So the first element we're going to look at is classroom environment. And this includes how your classroom is set up, the routines and rules that you have put in place to indicate to learners what you expect of them, and the classroom climate that you are personally responsible for developing in your classroom. The second big element we're going to look at is yourself. And here we look at how you manage your time in your classroom, how your lessons are planned and organized, and lastly and very important, how you differentiate. Because having the appropriate curriculum for learners is a great classroom management strategy and is very commonly overlooked by teachers. The third big element we're going to look at, and the last one, is the behavior. And this includes how teachers perceive and understand poor behavior in their classroom, the actual discipline process that they implement, and the different strategies that can be used to address the different behavioral issues in the classroom. So ProfDev Plus offers three classroom management courses. One, to look at the environment, two, to look at yourself, and three, how you can manage the behavior in your classroom. This course we're going to be looking at how you as a teacher can manage the behavior of the learners in your class. I hope you enjoy the course.